Your Excellency. Thank you for the interview. You're welcome. Uh, and welcome to Belgium. You haven't been here that long yet. Uh, you're, you're still new uh, to this uh, post. Could you maybe start by telling uh, the viewers a little bit about your history, your past? Well, thanks very much uh, for providing me with the opportunity of this interview. My name is um, Koli Sinkosi. I'm the ambassador of South Africa to Belgium, uh, Luxembourg, and also the head of mission to the EU. Um, previously, I was the deputy director general in charge of uh, Africa relations in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So I'm a career diplomat. I've served uh, previously in Geneva as a diplomat, uh, and I was principally responsible for the ILO. So uh, you are used to Europe? You can say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, um, one of the duties of an ambassador is to attract uh, foreign direct investment to uh, his or her country. Um, in your case, South Africa. South Africa is doing quite well can, uh, when it comes down to investments. Why do you think uh, foreign investors already have uh, trust to go to South Africa? Well, economic diplomacy is one of the key pillars of our foreign policy. And through that, we seek to build a mutually rewarding, mutually beneficial, mutually profitable relations with uh, all countries of the world. We've developed a very extensive, very extensive network of uh, relations with a number of countries. And uh, we think South Africa is uh, uh, the most ideal uh, investment uh, destination uh, precisely because it offers a, a number of advantages um, insofar as investing in developing markets. One is that South Africa is a, has got a very strong uh, legal uh, rules-based system which is uh, founded on its uh, constitution, um, which as you know is, um, is one of the, the most uh, modern, the most uh, uh, liberal uh, of constitutions, which uh, respects uh, the rule of law and which also um, ensures that there are very strong institutions for governance, not just uh, political governance, but also corporate governance. Mm -hmm. uh, but also we've got a, a very uh, expansive and a very uh, uh, strong uh, legal system in South Africa, uh, which is highly regarded and highly respected worldwide. A number of uh, institutions, uh, reputable international institutions, um, are very, uh, uh, speak very kindly about uh, South Africa's uh, very strong uh, legal institutions. We, we also have a, um, a very attractive incentives uh, for investors uh, in various sectors of our economy uh, as part and parcel of, our, of the process of uh, creating jobs and building um, our industries, particularly in the manufacturing sector. We provide a number of incentives uh, to foreign investors. But also we've got a, a, very, uh, a very strong banking system. Financial services sector in South Africa is highly advanced. In fact, it compares very favorably with some of the best financial services offered by countries in the modern world. So our banking system, uh, and generally broadly our financial services sector, is, is very advanced. Um, and, and lastly, South Africa is a gateway into Africa. Um, we, we've got uh, some of the best uh, infrastructure, uh, transport, uh, roads, rail, uh, ports, uh, harbors, uh, to facilitate the movements of goods, uh, not just uh, into South Africa, but into the hinterland of Africa. Um, we have got a, a track record of uh, providing seamless flow of uh, logistic services between our various ports uh, into a number of landlocked African countries. So all those things, I think, give South Africa an edge. And uh, there would, uh, would be very strong points for attracting foreign direct investment uh, into South Africa. So um, there, there's definitely already foreign direct investment coming into the country and uh, of course you want to keep that position of, 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 uh, of being uh, uh, 
like an example within uh, Africa. Um, what kind of sectors do you think uh, um, are still very interesting for investors? There are a number of sectors uh, that investors would find uh, attractive and profitable in South Africa. As you know, South Africa's economy is very diverse. Um, uh, South Africa is the biggest economy in sub-Saharan Africa. Well, in fact, in the whole of Africa, it's the biggest economy, um, in spite of the fact that uh, it doesn't have the biggest of populations. Uh, but also, it's the most uh, diverse um, of the economies, the most modern, the most advanced. Um, we would want to attract investments in the energy sector, for example. Um, we, we are currently engaged in a, a very exciting exercise of diversifying uh, our energy sources. Uh, we want to bring in a number of elements into the energy mix. Uh, historically, South, Africa, South Africa's economy was driven by coal. It was a coal-based economy. Because, as you know, South Africa is endowed with the largest coal deposits um, in Africa. Um, and we would want to move away um, uh, from a, a, a energies, energy that um, contributes to greenhouse uh, emissions to renewable uh, sources mm -hmm. as part and parcel of our drive towards a cleaner uh, energy. Um, so we're moving towards what we call the green economy yeah. and want to create green jobs. Um, so there's a, a vast potential for investors uh, to come into South Africa, particularly insofar as uh, solar energy is concerned. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, sunshine throughout the year in South Africa. Um, so we need to take advantage of, uh, of this factor um, and, and start using that uh, energy um, um, in order to, to, to help to, to drive our economy. Uh, also there's a potential for hydro energy, there's a potential for wind energy. Uh, so we'd like investors to come into those areas. But also we're developing our nu nuclear energy capacity okay. uh, in South Africa. And we'll be investing uh, uh, over 200 billion uh, rands, about 20 billion euros. Um, in developing that, um, that sector. Um, currently, there are a number of feasibility studies that are being carried out in so far as the nuclear development of the nuclear energy is concerned. So energy is one of the areas. Okay. The, the other, area of co other areas, of course, uh, uh, are around uh, uh, the uh, manufacturing sector, uh, where we're also building the supply side uh, capacity. Um, um, uh, other areas around mining uh, uh, and where we're developing currently the downstream beneficiation uh, sector would like investors to come in there as well um, to, to take advantage of uh, the innumerable opportunities in the beneficiation sector. Um, of course, the, 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 there's opportunities in the ICT sector. Uh, we want now to, to use uh, ICTs as a tool um, to, to bring the majority of the people who are outside of the economy into the mainstream uh, through providing uh, wireless uh, services, um, uh, whether it's banking uh, services, uh, you know, uh, insurance uh, services, um, uh, a whole range of, of services could be provided through uh, wireless technology. And would want investors to come into that area as well uh, of uh, ICT, development of uh, ICTs, so that we can, we can reach out to millions of our people who are out in the rural areas, uh, in the villages, uh, and so on. Well, there's definitely uh, a lot of uh, knowledge and good companies in Europe concerning renewable energy and, and ICT yeah. and, yeah. and uh, the things that you yeah. named. So there's definitely lots of uh, uh, possible partnerships or mm. uh, uh, in investment opportunities for European companies mm. then in your country. 
Now, is there something, um, uh, like I said before, your um, uh, country is doing very well in the, in the doing business index of the World Bank or in everything mm. concerning when you look at Africa, your country is doing very well concerning uh, investing. What, what in particular is your government doing to keep that momentum, to make sure that uh, other countries are not... Uh, yeah. uh, Constantly... Constantly, we, we, we're making a number of uh, improvements in our policy environment, in our regulatory environment, uh, uh, to keep up with the uh, latest developments uh, globally, uh, to, to put South Africa in, a, in an advantageous uh, position. Um, and to make sure that we were part of the of the the, the global economy, um, uh, South Africa integrated into the global economy post ninety four, um, and ever since then um, we've been a key element of 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 the global economy uh, to the extent that we've been catapulted from being uh, in the periphery to being more in the, in the center of the constellation of uh, powers in the global economy due to our membership to the G20 and BRICS, which are major drivers of the global economy at the moment. So we, 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 are, we are constantly uh, taking proactive measures um, to, 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 to improve our industrial policy framework. For instance, we've just recently adopted what we call the IPEP2, which is the industrial policy framework, um, second phase of, of that, which, which seeks to uh, put a lot of emphasis on the investment in, in skills, um, uh, because we want to build a, a, a highly skilled uh, uh, workforce. Uh, which is highly, which produces goods that are highly competitive uh, into the global market. Um, we, we want to add value um, to, to almost all the basket of our um, mineral resources, um, uh, all the basket of our uh, locally produced uh, uh, commodities. Uh, want to add value to that and for us to be able to do that we need to build a highly skilled workforce so IPEP2 as well as our new growth path which focuses on uh, creating jobs uh, puts a heavy emphasis on the development of high-end skills so that we can develop high quality products for export not just into the traditional markets, but also into the emerging markets, where you see a rising middle class that has got an insatiable appetite for consumer goods. A uh, number of countries in Africa where we see the growth of the middle class and the high demand for high value end uh, products. Uh, so this is our target market. Um, and we're producing, we want to produce the requisite skills to be able to produce the right products that will meet the satisfaction uh, of, 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 our, of this growing middle class. So this is, this, this is one of the concrete things that we're doing um, in order to, uh, to, call, to, to, to continuously renew and dynamize the South African economy uh, so that it, it, it continues to, um, uh, to keep up with the trends um, keep up with the, um, the the trajectory of the of the global economy, um, and as I said, uh, we're also making a number of adjustments uh, from a, a policy framework, um, a regulation uh, framework, uh, to make sure that we we remain a, an attractive destination for investments. Mm -hmm. Now. Um Ambassador, you are very lucky in the sense that you have a big embassy with a lot of staff. 
Um, how could this staff, how could the investors benefit from the uh, knowledge uh, of your staff and the links, of course, uh, between your staff and South Africa? Yes, we will be launching um, a, a very interactive, uh, highly informative, uh, user-friendly uh, website. Um, we, it's currently under construction. It, uh, we should go on air, we should go uh, on the wires uh, by, by the 1st of May. Okay. Um, well, to be more precise, I think by the 3rd of May. Um, so I would like to, invi to invite uh, potential uh, investors and uh, uh, tourists and other people, uh, particularly postgraduate students, uh, uh, prospective postgraduate students, they are free to come and study in South Africa. We've got uh, uh, highly uh, uh, competitive, uh, uh, highly recognized, well-known and uh, well-accredited institutions of higher learning in South Africa. Um, would like to invite them to come and uh, consider studying there. We've got a number of students from the US, from Germany, from Belgium, uh, China, Thailand, uh, Brazil, a uh, number of countries who are doing their postgrad uh, studies in, in South Africa. So that is another opportunity. But also if, you, if you're keen to, uh, to do um, a surgery, um, you know, uh, whether it's a, a medical or cosmetic, uh, uh, South Africa is the place for you to go. Um, and added to that, you'll have the advantage of uh, um, engaging in uh, uh, tourism uh, activities. Um, South Africa has got a, a very exciting and vast uh, tourism landscape, very diverse. Um, one region offers uh, something unique, uh, something completely different uh, from another, but something very special. So. I would like to invite uh, people to, to come and uh, experience and share the, the splendor in the splendor, the, the beauty, uh, and most importantly, come and feel the beat, uh, the heartbeat of South Africa. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, it's very clear everybody that goes to South Africa comes back very enthusiastic yeah. about yeah. what a beautiful country South Africa is. Yeah. So there's absolutely no doubt uh, yeah. about that. It's still. Uh, not always easy for people to find a way to South Africa, uh, but those who have been come back very enthusiastic, that is mm. for sure. Um, um, can I come back to my previous question, and specifically um, about uh, uh, your embassy and potential investors? Yes. What kind of help can they get from your embassy? Yes, uh, as I said, we've got the, the, the website which will be going on, on air on the 3rd of May. And in that, we will have uh, all kinds of information. Okay, for just, we'll, we'll cut and then we'll start after my question. Yeah. But maybe you can say something because you have, uh, um, what is it called? Ben or ben, uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm coming, I'm coming to that. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, on, on the website, we'll, you, you'll, you'll be able to. Find, find information about uh, a number of services that are offered by our mission, ranging from uh, a trade uh, facilitation, uh, tourism to uh, consular uh, uh, immigration services, uh, visas and all that. Um, the, the trade section is, is one of the, um, the key uh, sections of our mission. Um, we've got uh, highly experienced uh, officials in that mission, in that uh, section. Officials from South Africa and also uh, officials who've been recruited uh, from Belgium, who have got a, a very good uh, sound knowledge of the, the Belgian economy, but also who, who have a knowledge of the South African economy and the opportunities that exist in, in both economies. So we do have uh, uh, that expertise um, that uh, potential investors um, are, are invited to, to, tap, to tap in. Mm -hmm. Also, we've got a tourism uh, component uh, here at the mission, which is also comprised of uh, both uh, officials from South Africa and also officials uh, from Belgium um, who, who understand the, the 
we have a good knowledge of the diverse uh, tourism uh, package that South Africa has to offer. And also we have a knowledge of the, the profile of the Belgian uh, uh, tourist. Um, so potential tourists uh, should also get in touch with the officials uh, in that section. And of course, as I said, uh, we've got an immigration uh, section which deals with uh, visas um, uh, and other related uh, consular matters um, that uh, people can always uh, get in touch with if they need uh, either to apply for visas or if the uh, South Africans who are here wish to apply for birth certificates uh, uh, and, and all kind of other kind of uh, uh, documentation, official documentation mm -hmm. from the South African Immigration Services. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we can conclude that the investors are very welcome in your country? They are very much welcome uh, in South Africa, okay. indeed. Okay, uh, Mr. Ambassador, I'd like to thank you for the interview and um, I wish you uh, very uh, nice and happy years here in Belgium for over the next uh, years that you will be here and a lot of success of course uh, uh, bringing in those investors to your country. Well thanks very much uh, and thanks for organizing and arranging this interview. I really appreciate it. More so that it comes in uh, just soon after my arrival here in, in Belgium. It has given me the platform uh, to uh, enunciate and uh, give some details uh, to the programs and plans mm -hmm. um, that we have for the next four years uh, of my tour of duty here in, in Belgium. So thanks very much and uh, I look forward to having more interactions with you mm -hmm. and indeed I do hope that uh, this will serve as a, as a tool uh, to uh, attract uh, investors uh, and tourists uh, and other kinds of visitors to South Africa. Thanks very okay, much. Okay, we'll just make sure that it does. Yeah. And uh, lots of success for you. Thank you. In, uh, in Belgium. <laughs> Thank you very much.